In May, the Trump administration announced it would prosecute anyone who crossed the U.S.-Mexico border without the proper paperwork. No questions asked. Children were seized and their parents were charged as criminals. The move triggered a national and international outcry. Let them free! In June, a federal judge stepped in and ordered reunifications. A first deadline earlier this month to reunite children under the age of five with their parents was only partially met. A second deadline expired on Thursday. It was specifically aimed at some 2,500 older kids and their families. Federal officials say around half have been reunited, but they've deemed hundreds of parents ineligible and say hundreds of others have already been deported without their children. None of us actually believed that they were going to do it. They're, what they're doing is they're justifying why they didn't do it. We are demanding that all of these families be reunited. Rochelle Garza is a local attorney. She represents some of the children being held. In the short term, it's very simple. Uh, end the family separations. Just reunite the families. Don't remove them from the country. If they sign an expedited removal order, cancel it. Um, allow, allow them to go through their right to seek asylum in the United States, to go through the immigration process. I'm just angry. I'm more angry than anything. Local activist Elisa Filipone got involved with angry tias and abuelas, or angry aunts and grandmothers. If it's a family, we just put a little, you know, a sweet touch for, for the children. They load up donated backpacks and hand them out. Some of them are released from the detention center and they put their things in a plastic bag or they also give them this sack that looks like an onion sack and that's what they have. And I just try to give somebody a little dignity and a little hope. The building behind me is what's known as a tender age facility, meaning it houses babies and children up to the age of 12. Their parents are being held all across the United States and those who are lucky enough to be reunited are flown here to South Texas. 30-year-old Ashley Casal from New York drove more than 3,000 kilometers with her son. They've set up camp, hoping to speak with the children inside. It hasn't been a huge sacrifice for me. The ones who are really making the sacrifice are the parents, the kids inside, and the parents who are agonizing, some not even knowing where their kids are still. We're going to stay until we get these answers or until these kids are reunited. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN, in Brownsville, Texas.